everybody and welcome back to TMC Natural Beauty aka the Mind Catchers channel and my name is Valerie and today we're going to be doing something cute with these little ashy hands here. <laughs> we're going to be doing a cute nail polish tutorial using uh, some shades from Dharma Lacquer. Now you guys know I just did the spring collection for Dharma Lacquer. And these uh, shades are not all the spring shades. Uh, this one was a part of the spring collection. This is Keep the Peace. Uh, I believe this one was, and this one is called Peachy Keen. It's a beautiful shade. But this one was not a part of the um, spring collection, but I just thought it was a very pretty uh, color with these two and decided to pair them up in a tutorial. So I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to leave my discount code below so just in case you guys want to purchase any of these shades you can get 25% off at checkout so we're going to start using our orly bonder this is a rubberized base coat so what nail base does basically is just uh, keep your nails from staining hopefully also it's going to keep the nail polish on your nails a little bit longer and I do my free edge. You see I'm rubbing along here. I always do my free edge because I do put nail polish there. And I won't forget my thumb. I know a lot of people feel like um, nail bloggers and people who swatch don't do their thumb. I always do my thumb. Sometimes it's in the photo, sometimes it's not. But I always do my thumb. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry down and we're going to be right back. All right, friends, so this is what the rubberized base coat from Orly looks like after you apply it and let it dry a bit. It looks rubbery. It feels like sticky and rubbery, like bouncy feeling. So it's ready to use. So the first shade we're going to be using is the Dharma Lacquer shade Peachy Keen. That's going to be our base color for this tutorial. <laughs> fun part I have this little stone here um, I forget what they call this like a nail polish stone you can use it to trip nail polishes on and I'm going to be using keeping the piece or keep the piece from um, Dharma lacquer and I'm just going to be using my dotting tool and we're going to make some big dots with that so right here on the corner Dot, 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 dot. They don't have to be perfect. Okay, that's about enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try to put six on this nail. see 
why people use these stones. The nail polish doesn't dry up as fast using the stone. I used to use like business cards, things like that. It dries up so fast, but right now it's so liquidy. Okay, I'm going to allow that to dry and we're going to come back with the next shade. Okay, we're going into the next shade. This is called Dahlia. And everything that I use, I'm going to have in my description box below. So if you're interested in purchasing anything, it will be there. Uh, this little stone came from Maniology, and I am an affiliate with that company, so I'll leave my link below for that as well. And you're going to get 10% off. And uh, for the dotting tool, I think I got this from Amazon. I'll try to find a link for this too. It's so cute with all the colors in there, like little balloons. It reminds me of the Disney movie Up. Okay, so we're going to tap into Dahlia and we're going to place Dahlia right on top of some of those purple dots and in between wherever we could fit them with whatever looks cute to you I guess so kind of get in where you fit in it's gonna be cute no matter what look at that I think when you put them in between, like inside of the big purple dots, you really see the color of Dahlia pop. Okay, keep going. And I think Dotacures are like the easiest manicures you can do and they look so well done looks like you went to a salon once you put your top coat on and everything i'm trying my best to be good and stay focused here on this camera but oh i guess practice makes perfect i don't normally do nail tutorials so it's like i keep twisting my hand and for myself, you know, and I keep forgetting you guys are trying to watch as well. Okay, so that's our pinky. And that thumb, I'm actually doing my thumb. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a second to dry. It's not gonna take long because these are pretty thin dots. There's not much uh, paint here. So they're not gonna take too long. If you have a nail dryer, about 60 seconds, well, just be safe, do two minutes and um, put on your top coat. So that's what we're looking like. Move that out the way. It is so cute. Cute, cute, cute. Now remember, we're gonna clean anything up with acetone at the end, and we're gonna apply our lotion and everything, and it's gonna be so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be back. All right, friends, we are back, and I am going to do a little top coat, because that's all that's left to do. I'm using the Out The Door Top Coat, and it has been a lifesaver for me. It's super fast drying, and it doesn't leave those pesky little bubbles in your top coat. So, um, let's go ahead and do that. Don't worry, I'm going to be cleaning up around my nail, and it's going to be beautiful. I really let this design dry before I applied this top coat this time. Uh, usually I'm just in such a rush to swatch and get things over with. I end up smudging and stuff like that. So today I said, no, sit down and let this dry. And I hope I'm not so loud. I forget the microphone is right next to my face. I, I've got, I got to get used to this, guys. I'm so used to projecting my voice when you guys are so far away from me. But the microphone is like right at my face right now. So I apologize if I'm super loud. But that is it. Very, very cute. 
So I am going to let this dry and I'll be back to show you guys what this manicure looks like. Um, also, I'm going to show you guys the cream. Well, I can show you that now. Um, my hands are so ashy. So I'm going to be using this uh, oil. I'm trying to use up all of my oils. I'm going to be using the NC NCLA So Rich Oil. It smells so good. I also, um, well, let me tell you my little trick. When you're darker skin and you apply this oil, uh, or any oil, when you do your pictures, it's going to look so oily. It's going to look like you just had your hand in a bucket of chicken. I'm telling you. So what I do is apply my oil, rub it in really good, and then I get some paper towels and dab my like skin dry. So I still get the moisture, but just not all of the oiliness. And that's my little trick to make my hands look, you know, moisturized in photos. Okay, so I'll be right back to show you guys what it looks like. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so here we are, nice and up close. And as you can see, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but I don't think anybody's going to be examining your hands that close anyway. And my hands can stand a bit of moisture, so I'm going to work on that especially in my cuticle areas. I think I'm going to do a manicure next week because I did cut my nails down already. So maybe in about a week they'll have grown a little, you know, not much, but at least they'll be a little bumpy and need to be uh, neatened up again. And I'll film it when I do it. But that is it. So I thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I'm going to try my best to push out more nail tutorials, things that are super easy that I think anybody can do because if I'm just starting with nail art, it's only been about a year and a half for me and I've been able to catch on to a few things. I'll share them with you. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cyber kisses. Bye. Mm -hmm.